So this video is gonna cover the uh, D2 governor that is found on both air systems. Um, the role of the governor is to control the load and unload cycle of our air compressor. And the way that it does that is by simply manipulating a piston to control when the intake valves are on the air compressor are in the uh, loaded and un unloaded position. Um, I will try to attach a video that shows you the internal workings, but that's uh, less important. I think right now, the most important thing is just establishing this relationship. So most of the time, these are come preset from the factory, even though you can get ones that are adjustable, but most of the time they come preset from the factory at about a, at a, uh, 125 PSI. And what that means is that once the system reaches 125 PSI, it will set a condition. Uh, the piston will move in here, which will set a condition inside of our air compressor where the um, intake valves remain in the open position, thus making the air compressor, even though it's still being driven by the engine incapable of continuing to build air because all of the air that is uh, pulled in uh, by the pistons downward movement will be also pushed back out or or, or basically uh, you terminate the, well, basically what you're doing, I, I shouldn't even say that because in reality what you're, what you're really doing is uh, eliminating the condition of a vacuum existing by the um, air, uh, by the intake valves being, being kept open. So the, the, it makes it uh, incapable for the compressor to create a vacuum, thus uh, ending the work cycle for the air compressor itself. Now I do, I, or I'd have, I will have a video that explains uh, vacuum and the importance of vacuum inside of uh, all types of engine systems. So, cause a lot of times that is a, a very uh, hard thing to, for people to understand. And, and how and what vacuum is and what inches of mercury is so i'll have a video up on that uh, pretty soon and you should probably watch that video it'll help you understand uh that what i'm saying is is true as it concerns what's actually happening inside this compressor uh, and the governor is extremely important because um the duty site like compressors are not to are not meant to have a hundred percent uh run time or, or I'm sure, i shouldn't say run time but a hundred percent duty cycle which means that like the more often that they actually have to work and build air uh the more likely they are to have a premature failure it is not uncommon to have a compressor last pretty much almost the life of a truck um but if you have conditions where you have leaking air or you have a governor that is not working properly for extended periods of time um, you could potentially burn out the compressor faster than what you normally would. Um, about, I would say, and I think most people would agree with me who work out in the field, about 70% of the time, if you have a condition where you do not build air, it is going to be centered around the failure of operation of the D2 governor or the uh, air dryer, uh, air dryer failure, right? Um, and we'll cover dryers a little bit in a, in a different video um, because there are a number of different air dryers, but they all are pretty much trying to accomplish the same thing. But they are a really neglected uh, piece of the air system because oftentimes they are not put on our annual, or they're definitely not put on our um, B services, which is the most common service that you're gonna do. And they're normally not caught on your annuals or biannuals. And definitely that this filter, this filter should be changed, I believe either uh, once, at least once a year. So, um, but oftentimes it's not. In a desk, and whether it be a filter like this or it be a desiccant package, uh, normally they're not serviced on any regular interval by owner operators or by fleets because people forget to put them on there until they start to give them problems. Um, but again, going back to the D2 governor, 
like I said, some like 70, 80% of your air building problems. So if you have a truck that will not build air, more than likely it's not an issue with the air compressor or the lines, more than likely you have a governor that's stuck. Now, for the ones that are adjustable, you will hear people say, well, I adjusted and now it's starting to build air. I would say that that adjustment will probably fail something like 99% of the time, you adjusting the governor and then sending the truck back out on the road is not gonna be an effective way of resolving the problem. The governor is a relatively inexpensive part um, if it's starting to give you some problems, I would highly suggest that you go ahead and replace it because of the reality of the way that it works internally. Uh, if it starts to get hung up in, in some weird positions or the springs are starting to wear out, um, more than likely, even though you adjusted it and it worked, it, it's probably just a temporary fix. Uh, what I've seen several times is people fix them, uh, people adjust them and then, uh, go down a road or the truck get down a road a little bit further away from the shop than what you really want to drive out to. And then the truck start to experience the same problems again. So the safest bet is to just go ahead and replace the part because like I said, it's relatively inexpensive and, and they're pretty easy to come by. Uh, it's the likelihood of you not being able to get a D2 governor the exact same day is pretty slim to know. Um, yeah, so that's it. So the air governor, is gonna control the load and unload cycle of the air compressor. It does that by manipulating the intake valves inside of the air compressor. Um, that's the biggest thing to take away from this video. And if you have problems with the air compressor uh, not building, uh, with, not, with, with your truck not building air, more than likely, this is gonna be a culprit. Uh, the best thing to do is just go ahead and grab a new one, put it on there, and then see if the problem goes away. Uh, that's more effective than trying to isolate it. If after that you're starting, you're continuing to have the problems with build time, especially with uh, like the purge valve going off early, you could have an air dryer problem. We'll talk about air dryers in a in a separate in another video.